Hello, welcome to the 2016 presidential election map, courtesy of Excel TV. In this overview, we'll walk you through how to interact with a map to get the most out of it. This is Rick with Excel TV sharing with you the interactive election map developed by Excel MVP Jordan Goldmeyer. Let's get started. When you open the file, you'll be met with three tabs at the bottom. Navigate to the second tab, the Map tab. There in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see the opportunity to pick one of three scenarios. you select your starting scenario. If you hover over the scenario you'd like to start with and click it. The first one is the current projections and toss-up. Here you can hear the current polling results are based on the data from RealClearPolitics.com captured on September 5th, 2016. The second one is results from the 2012 presidential election used for comparison purposes. These are statewide results from the last U.S. election. And the third one is to clear all states. Now, this clears all the states without being assigned a Republican or a Democrat. Step number two is to understand the map. As you look at the map, the states are colored based on whether they are Republican or Democrat. As a standard in the United States, Democrat states are blue, Republicans are red. When the current projects and toss-up scenario is selected, some states may have a lighter shade of red or blue, indicating these states leaning towards one candidate or party. The two other scenarios do not include light shades for leaning states. Next, we're going to talk about using the map. Now, with the scenario selected, up in the upper right-hand corner, once you've selected a scenario, you're now ready to adjust the map based on your own predictions. So you can change the state's color by clicking on an individual state. Now, clicking on the state will allow you to toggle through three different assignments. Blue is a Democrat, red is a Republican, or gray is unassigned. That means that if a state is blue and you click on it, it will become red. Click on it again and it will become gray. Click on it once more and it will become blue again, and so on. Now, because you're assigning an outcome, you cannot set the state to be leaning with a lighter shade, you know, a lighter blue or a lighter red. Now, over in the right-hand side, you'll see that some states over there are too small to click on directly, you know, like New Hampshire, Vermont, etc. In these censuses, we've included additional box to click on the right side that will act as a proxy for the state assignments. So click on these boxes and it'll change how their respective states are assigned. Next up, now that you've selected everything that you want, how do you go about predicting the winner? Well, as you select or as you click each state, the chart in the bottom right-hand corner will let you know the current electoral college count and the amount needed to win the United States election. States that have not yet been assigned a winning political party will not be included in the chart. So the total amount of electoral college votes belonging to these states are so-called toss-up votes. Now, in the United States, to win the election, a candidate must garner at least 270 electoral votes. So a candidate or political party, once they've crossed the 270 threshold, they've won. And you can test different scenarios as you like. So there's really good news. The 2016 election map is free. You can download it over at HTTP excel.tv if you go over in the navigation menu up at the very top you'll see something called free stuff and in that drop down you'll see the 2016 presidential election map you click on that and you can just download this for free and follow along for the elections in november 2016 so thanks for following along the 2016 presidential election map courtesy of excel tv